What's up guys? So, got a brand new update for you. Let us open it up. So the main thing you're going to notice is this little item in my inventory. This is a pet storage system that was coded by Dark, so all of the credit goes to him, but it is out and it is released. Uh, so it can store up to 200 pets. I'll kind of show you a little bit about how it works. Uh, I don't think I even have any pets. So first off, you buy it from Rizala. I'm going to show you the price tag just so you can panic attack. Panic attack. Uh, <laughs> let's get ourselves some pets. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> One sec. All right, so we got a few pets here. Baby Brock. You can see it is a normal pet. Um, so it's pretty much just like a bank store system. Storm in there. There you go. Put it in your bank. And there you go. They will save right there if we open it back up. Boom. What happens if you have a pet in there and you drop it like a retard? Well, all you have to do is spawn Max Cash and come over to Rosello, buy another one, and then your pet will be right there. So, yeah. Uh, big, big shout outs to Dark for being able to do it. It's one of those things that was on the to do list forever. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty awesome. Now we have a goal, I guess, to get to 200 pets. So, did you go through with the whole, oh, yeah. There was originally going to be a luck whip. Um, it might still happen. I'll talk about that in a sec. So, the next big thing that is in this update is extreme mode. So, extreme mode is not a normal mode. Uh, if you go to extreme, that's how you get there. So, this is a status mode. It's not a full game mode with, like, an icon. So, any account can be an extreme. A normal account, like myself, which is, I guess, an owner account, can be an extreme. Let's talk to them. You will reset your stats. Um and then start new, and the real only, like, thing about Extreme Mode is that you gain XP less. It is five times less. Uh, so, for example, if we spawn ourselves... I don't know, I don't really want to do it on this account. Let me find a different account. Big shout-outs to Cheshire for the new design. We're, there's also a loading design, but uh, you'll see it whenever you load. Uh, so this is my hard... Or it was a hardcore Iron Man, and it's not anymore. We'll make this the Extreme. So, just go to extreme, and I'll show you, just because I know people will, will ask. So, I'll, I'll show you the full thing. So, just talk to him, spam through his options, he's just kind of, you know, making fun of you. Um, so, yeah, you would gain five times XP less Y sense of accomplishment. Um, as a, as Can Use Bank asked earlier, mentioned earlier, there, there was plans for a lucky whip. The plans are still a plan. <laughs> I just want it to be more... The problem was we were just going to do a whip and it was just going to have like luck bonus and it was just going to be like a free item every extreme got. Uh, but it was a very minor luck bonus, but it was going to be luck bonus, so that was going to be the slight advantage to being an extreme. Um, it's mostly just a sense of accomplishment and a challenge for the people that want to do it. It is, is, you know, it's an optional mode. Not everybody has to do it. Um, I, I do, I do want to do the whip. I just want to make sure it's a different color. That, that was really all it came down to. I didn't want it to be the same as a normal whip in terms of looks. It needed to be immediately, you would immediately know that that's the thing. So whatever the extreme item ends up being, it has to be extremely noticeable <laughs> that that's what it is. You know what I mean? I didn't want it to have it have the same look. So that was why I didn't come out uh, on release. And I still have to sort of figure out if that's what we want to do. If you have any other suggestions for something you think would be cool. There is an extreme uh, zone, but it is very basic, and really what we do with it is up to your guys' suggestions, because I have no freaking ideas. But you talk to him. Did I already talk to my already extreme? I don't know if I said no or not. Become extreme. Oh, I have to take my equipment off. That's why it didn't let me do it. Take your equipment off. All your stats will be reset, so rip my total level here. You can do it on any account. Doesn't have to be an Iron Man. Doesn't have to be a normal account. Doesn't have to be a hardcore. You don't have to make a brand new account. It can be your. It can, I could do this on the owner account. I could do it on JMO if I wanted to. I don't want to. So uh, to get to the zone, just do extreme, exact same command, but it registers that you're an extreme now. And like I said, it's really basic. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. That's it. You are now extreme mode. I probably should have showed me kill something beforehand. But if you play the server, you know that the server is relatively fast. I kind of debated about maybe doing it even lower because I don't know if five times slower is slow enough, if you will. Uh, for some things it is, but for some things it really isn't. But uh, you can see 84 per hit is the combat with uh, with this mode. So, yeah. You can get tomes and, um, and other things like that, but it does scale. 
so it is you will get like five times less than if you are a normal account um, but yeah that's it that is the that is the status all you really have at the moment to show off your status is the uh, icon but again if you have any suggestions any ideas you like let me know we definitely check the suggestions list uh, so I'll just kind of skim over the rest of them so the very rare items from Tepton and Vespula were if you didn't know they were obtained well, just one of them was obtained. Somebody was able to get the wand. Um, so whenever the person got the wand, we actually found out at that exact time that the wand was broken. It didn't actually function at all in any way. Um, that was obviously not what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to be this... Well, it actually does look a little different, and I'll get into that in a bit. But um, let me... Do I still have this open? I do. Items. Yeah, cool. So actually, I'm at the right point. So, uh, this right here is just a list of all the items in cache. Um, it's just a, th a visual list. I usually use it to figure out items that look interesting and see if I want to use that in some way or another. Uh, these originally were for a test. They were trying to test out the Kodai Wand and the Elder Maul um, for PvP-related reasons. And they kind of looked cool when we added those bosses we added the i added a really rare one in twenty five thousand chance of receiving a pink, the pink versions unbeknownst to me well i should have known because they do it with event items but they removed it from the cache and i don't i don't exactly know how that works on their end or on our end i suppose whenever we updated the data at some point we got the new data and they didn't in their data they didn't include it because they delete temporary stuff i suppose um, so the, even though the items are here and it looks, you know, it looks the way it should look uh, there, it didn't function. So dark made them function, and so it's not exactly the same as what it was supposed to be originally, but uh, it is special and, and unique, and there's there's that. I will show you the mall. The mall, in my opinion, looks a little better. I don't think anyone owns the mall. I think the only one that's actually in game is this wand here. Mall looks a little better. Kind of clashes with my shirt. I never thought I would say that about a weapon, but yeah. Those were the ones. That is kind of a spoiler reveal, if you didn't know. Um, the fact that it's in-game knowledge now I just kind of makes it less secrety. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to do a full video where I go over Easter eggs and spoilers and sneak peeks and stuff like that, that, that kind of stuff. And I'll, I'll sort of explain more of it then if you, if you really want. But So that's pink now. That's it. One person has it. There's only one in-game. It took a very long time for that one in-game to happen. Uh, it is tradable. So I assume it's, you know, it's got a high value. But to the one person who has it, Kai... You got yourself a pink wand now. Uh, so there's been some other things that have been changed. You no longer get warnings when you're disassembling rare items. You can now use death darts on the King Green Dragon. That was a big one for people. You couldn't really do it solo. Now you kind of can, so that's helpful. Uh, Diogenes got a drop overhaul. Uh, I I didn't really when I when I when I designed the boss. Well, I didn't design the boss, but when I designed the boss's drops, I knew that a lot of the drops wouldn't even get looted in mass type situations. So they weren't good. But the problem with them not being good is that was also the exact same thing. Obviously, if they're not good, no one's going to loot them. So my, my attempt to make it, you know, be I don't, not necessarily better, I just figured it wouldn't matter. And it didn't matter because I made them, you know what I mean? I mean, you know I mean? I made the items so bad that no one wanted to loot them. So whether they were not looting them because they were lazy or not looting them because they're not good, the result was the exact same. So I have changed the loots a little bit. They do look roughly similar. There are some new things. This is the only way to get dragon knives. Um, so there's that, for example. You do get jar of dirt and jar of decay. Jar of decay, if you didn't know, is the Numulite one. Um, so that's roughly the same, and a lot of the loots don't look too different, but the, the base amounts and everything were increased. Um, and then obviously you have, you know, Mr. Bu you know, it's, it's better. It's better than what it was before. And then this weekend, we'll actually have double uh, pug points from Diogenes. So we will likely do a mass... Uh, I do want to do a King Green Dragon match just because I want the items myself. So I'll do, definitely do one of those soon. But um, that's that. Sierra's Charm is now a little cheaper. It is now 750 points. It also has a few new items. Do I still have that item that can simulate it one sec? Uh, so this is the item that simulates the new loots. I think they're going to drop below me, so let me go somewhere that's not. I probably shouldn't do it here either. Let's go up. There we go. Uh, just drop them all over the floor. I did say in the update post that I changed some of the yells. I did change some of the yells, but it's not where it needs to be. Um, it's mostly noticeable with mystery boxes. A lot of the good stuff doesn't yell, and pretty much just everything doesn't yell. That was kind of the, the change we made, but that's not a good change. Uh, these are 
probably the, the crates. <laughs> it's, I probably should have done it in that, in such a reckless fashion. I should also probably make sure that no one can loot these. I don't think they can. I'm assuming they're just not going to show up below me, but I'll probably do a, a full proper video to show it off. But the main thing was really just kind of changing, um, just adding a couple more loots. Um, nothing crazy good, but I lowered the price, so you can probably see why. The big stuff is the same rarity, so don't have to worry about that. It's just um, the lower stuff. It's not necessarily worse, because I, I mean, I did add new items, um, but they could be considered worse. Like, for example, the Staff of the Dead was not there. The Staff of the Light was. Now there's both. <laughs> so, you know, it, it is really all, all luck, but how long this count I'm made, I, I'll have to deal with that. I, I don't, there shouldn't be any issues. You should be able to connect. Uh, could Okay, so I found out the issue. Uh, depending on how early you see this video, there, there's an issue where uh, Uber and Baller accounts cannot log in. So, yeah, if you're one of those accounts and you happen to see this video early and can't log in, now you know why. Apologies for that. <laughs> I assume the issue is whenever we did the cache, uh, Dark did the cache and sent it to me. I don't think he had the icons. He might have, because, I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't gotten a reply back from him yet, so I'm just waiting to see, but... Uh, anything else I gotta talk about in the video? Party hats give 15,000 Uber components. The main reason I did that is just to make sure that they still give a warning. There's no real reason. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. Uh, Dow Jeans for this weekend will give double pug points, so we'll probably do some masses, like I said. Um, you know, just keep an eye on the YouTube channel. You're, if you're seeing this, you're probably subscribed. I mean, you know, I can't imagine new, I'm getting new subscribers. It's hard to really know. Because a lot of old people are unsubscribing, so it's hard to know how many new people, if any new people, I'm getting. Anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you later.